guys, we got the final number back. The entire thing was sold out outside of 80 tickets. 80 more tickets and the entire Europe tour would have been sold out. It's fucking nuts. That's nuts. That's so wild. So yeah, we're blown away. Um, the promoters are blown away, which is a great feeling. Um, I don't think we've ever had that before where the people in the actual music scene are recognizing us and saying that we're doing a good job, like coming up to us after the show and shaking our hand and saying, wow, we're so happy they're here. <laughs> like that's unheard of for us. Um, I've, I've already said many times before that we've uh, not been a part of that world for a long, long time. Um, so it feels pretty good to be kind of recognized. Um, it's pretty crazy. Here's a story that I'll share with you guys. Uh, and you'll know this if you were in the first gig in Frankfurt, Germany. We <laughs> did not plan an encore. <laughs> because in the U.S., it happened, but I kind of took some prompting. Like, if you were in the U.S., you probably saw it at a few shows. They kind of needed some, like, all right, now it's one more song. And we just felt embarrassed by that. We were like, we're not going to do that. So let's just not do an encore. We'll just play the set and, like, be done. Well, Frankfurt was not having it. <laughs> they were like, one more song. But, like, forever. And we were like, bro, there is no one more song. Um, so we played Pokemon Road for them. <laughs> We didn't come up with an encore, so we had to do it <laughs> for the next gig. Um, and we came up with uh, Rage. We ended up in finishing with Rage, which I was a little skeptical of, I'll be honest, because it's not our biggest song by a long shot. It's one of our uh, least successful songs. But it was so fucking cool to hear everybody screaming Rage. Um, we got we talked taught them how to sing it and everything and it was just so fucking cool so it ended up being a great closer we can um we can talk about customs it's really really complicated but if in a nutshell in a nutshell here's how it goes there's something called a carny that carny is where you list all of your gear if you're bringing it and importing it more importantly if you're planning on exporting it the reason being is because some countries have tariffs and taxes and things like that when you import them from America. And what that means is, for example, in Brazil, if you want an iPhone, you're going to pay not $1,000 like in America, but $1,500 because they're going to shaft you. So they don't want you to import stuff and then sell it, make a bunch of money, and yada, yada, yada. That's why they have carnies. Or if you lose your gear and things like that and for insurance purposes like that and you have to claim a bunch of money, yeah. blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, we leave the United States, ah? Huh? In the United States, I didn't fill out the carny. The Border Patrol didn't. And then we land in Germany and Germany didn't fucking do anything either on the carny. And then we went around to all these fucking countries, all of them. We get to France and France looks at it and goes, hmm, this looks fucking weird. What? So France, instead of just being like, you know what, just let's not use a carny like all the rest of the countries, goes, France goes, I'm going to write a fucking, just like a handwritten note and let you pass the border. And we get to the UK, and the UK goes, what the fuck, France? <laughs> <laughs> you know, basically, we shouldn't have even brought a carny. Yeah. It made way more problems than anything because, like, we, they looked at our gear in all the countries. They looked at all the stuff. No problem, right, whatsoever, right? It's the fact that we filled out a carny. No, it's the fact that all these other countries didn't fill out the carny correctly and like the stamps and all the literature didn't match up. They didn't even look. They didn't even look in the van. They didn't, when we were at the fucking UK, they didn't look one time. We stood and sat at that table in that fucking building for like 10 hours. 10 hours. Just to get like people talking on the phone back and forth and governments and because a fucking page didn't, didn't look right from France to the UK. And honestly, here's the thing. Here's the kicker, as they would say. Like, we did our due diligence. Like, we, we landed off the ferry. We're like, you know what we should do? Why don't we go pull over there and, like, go get the carny field out? Because it seems like people have been doing it right or whatever. Let's go make sure we're doing things right. Had we just not gone out of our way, nothing ever would have happened. We never would have got stopped. Not, like, seriously, it was ridiculous. Because, like... It's not like you go through, like, here's what, yeah, you, we've you, never done this before, yeah. so it's like, we, we, when you go through, like, a, a customs, they go, passport, please, so we're, we're thinking, like, carny, please, you have all this gear and shit. We land in Germany, dude, we land in Germany, and our, when we go out to get our gear, the whole it's airport is empty. It's just sitting there. It's just sitting in the middle of the airport, no all of it. Around. 
Just totally the, cleared. The nothing, guitars, everything. Nobody guitars. there to ask for a carnet. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. In America, our shit would have been gone. Yeah. Fucking say I know or say I know. I was like, like, wow, it must be really safe here. They're just fucking leaving our shit. Yeah, everywhere. and there's nobody to even ask for it. Anyway, like, we'll learn, uh, I guess, and we'll figure out what we'll do in the future because we've never even done this before. Basically, it took a bunch of paperwork to circumvent what happened with the carnet for them to let our gear go. Um, we had to like fill out other, we had to get, um, so it was like weeks of paperwork that they were trying to do in a day. Um, and import and, yeah. export stuff. Uh, it was and ridiculous. And so the reason we missed the show and we were so late to announcing it is that we kept, they kept they saying, they kept telling us five more minutes, five more just minutes, five more minutes. And, yeah. And get this, these fucking dicks. We'd be sitting there after hours and, and, and the people would come up, they'd like wake us up and they'd be like, hey, 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 got your paperwork. And we'd be like, oh, really? Are you serious? And they'd be like, no, just kidding. They literally fucking did that like three times. <laughs> they, did they did it to that. me at least once. Yeah. I think they did it to Dylan two or three yeah, times. Yeah, they did. Like throughout the day. Who fucking does that? <laughs> it's so it's ridiculous. That is English humor. I don't like you guys. Yeah. That sucks. Like they literally gave the paperwork to Dylan, our tour manager, and and. And then took it out of his fucking hands. Yeah. Like, no. They handed it to him. We were about to leave, and he's like, "Oh, actually, no, that's actually, not quite right." Oh, Sorry. good idea. Like, no. It was ridiculous. Here, they thought we had like a semi truck for like five hours. We we're in a semi truck yard with a little van. A little they van. thought we had a semi truck. They're like, "Oh, we'll just unhook your semi, and just you could just take the the truck and leave the trailer." We're like, what are you what are you talking about? Have you even go outside and look what we're driving? But for it was. all the people blaming the French, it wasn't just the French. It's, hey, it's a, hey, bit, be it's fair, a bit of everything. To be fair, if the French didn't fill out what they did, we never we would even got on the ferry. Yeah, we would like, have made it past. So yeah. it's it's just a bunch of things that just didn't uh, properly get done for the carne. Apparently you're fine if you have your gear from Europe. It's because if you brought the gear. So what they were going to do is they were going to confiscate every single thing on the carne that was from the United States. Everything. They're gonna, and they're like, you can put it in a locker and then like, but you'll probably never see it again. <laughs> yeah, they said that. They were yeah. like, you're probably never going to see it. You're probably never going to see it again. <laughs> so we're like, all right, well, we're not leaving. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, we it's. We thought about it though. We fucking thought about it. We really thought about it. We did. We were, shit. And we're we like, did. can we just buy more? And, and guess what? The thing is, is like, and then when we finally did leave, like, no, there was like a fucking gate code thing you have. We wouldn't have been able to leave. But the good news is I got a viral TikTok out of it. So <laughs> that's great. Oh my God. It's terrible. Some news that literally no one's going to care about. No one is going to be upset whatsoever. I am going blonde. Sorry, not sorry. If I'm oh. Name, she me? Hell yeah, I forgot about all this. <laughs> I have no clue how to play this song. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was that? That's what it sounds like. Uh, someone asked, uh, favorite beers, favorite alcohols? Did you? I don't remember the names of any of them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Awesome. Did they play this live? Full rock version? It's the A. Yeah, that's what I Suit doesn't fit very well. Hey, no, the style. I know. Neither Joke. did Lorenzo's pants. Obviously. It's a European thing. Lorenzo's pants were like a foot above his ankles. <laughs> it's a European thing. Yeah, this is Half Lives. This is who we toured with on our Europe tour. It's ridiculous. Like, okay, so my butt is just, it's hurting. I only did like 20 squats with like <laughs> with only just like, the bar. With, no, it was 30 pounds. <laughs> oh, it's just 30 pounds. It wasn't even the bar. No. <laughs> the bar is 45. That's the big bar. It was the little bar. It was just, yeah. It was the, this bar. <laughs> but so I know, all. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How many squats? 20. Two sets of 10, baby. No, I think I did 30. That's I did do 30. Because here's what happened. I did. 15 to 20 minutes on the stairs because we were watching Ant-Man in the get that, in get the, that butt and then I stopped and then we went to the bicycle and then we went to the treadmill 
and I walked for five minutes, and then I would do I would do ten reps, and then I'd walk five minutes and do ten reps. Look, I don't got any fucking muscles, all right, anywhere. Yeah. That's show's over, guys. <laughs> I got Christmas lights to put up. No. Thank you, Brief Fight Donut. Fuck it, oh. Oh my god, you guys, mods, you fucking useless. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what? Nothing. Useless? <laughs> no. He's literally did everything for us. No, I know. <laughs> Halazine.com for all your Halazine related needs.